गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन बायोलॉजी क्लासेस टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर नंबर टू द फ्लावर द टॉपिक फॉर टुडे इज फ्लावर एंड इट्स स्ट्रक्चर सो लेट इज बिगिन फ्लावर वॉट इज अ फ्लावर If I ask you the same question what will be your reply you will say that it is most beautiful part of a plant which has fragrance which has different color which has different shape and sizes isn't it so let us study the definition of a flower flower is the most attractive part of the plant they are found in different shapes sizes and colors it contains reproductive organs of a plant they protect fruits and seeds now if you see in the given picture there are different types of flowers given over here rose which is red in color orchids lily poppy jasmine violet and what not you can easily notice their different shapes beautiful color and structure as well moving on the next topic that is the structure of a flower a flower arises from the floral bud on the stem and is attached on the axis of the stem which is called pedicel now what is this pedicel you can see the last labeling in the given diagram as pedicel what is it it is the part from which the flower attaches itself to the stem the pedicel continues to form a swollen tip called thalamus or receptacle now again look at the diagram you will find the labeling receptacle what is this receptacle it is also called as thalamus which is the swollen basal part of the flower which hold the complete flower on it now four whorls of flower there are four whorls of flower which are called as calyx that is sepal corolla that is petals and rhosium which is called as stamen or the male reproductive part and the last is gynoecium that is carpel which is the female reproductive part of a flower now you can easily see all the labelings in the given diagram calyx calyx is the first whorl that is the sepal which contains sepals so let us know about them in detail whorls of a flower first whorl is calyx it is the outermost and the first whorl of the flower it consists of green color leaf like structure called sepals now look in the first diagram you can see a green color leaf like structure this green color leaf like structure is called sepal and this forms the first whorl or the first layer of flower which is called calyx what is function of calyx to protect the parts of flower in bud stage when the flower is in the bud stage the calyx gets surrounded to it and calyx protect the bud then the next whorl is corolla it is the second whorl of the flower consist of large brightly colored scented 
petals what does the corolla whorl consist of it consists of sep petals what are petals see the they are the very brightly colored part of the flower it is most attractive part of the flower corolla is the most attractive part of the flower function petals enclose and protect the reproductive part of the flower so what is inside the petal what are petal uh, protecting the petals are protecting the reproductive parts of the flower which is inside them secondly petals also attract insects such as bees and butterfly for the process of pollination how the insects get attracted to the petal by the by their fragrance by the beautiful scent coming out of the petal and the beautiful color as well bright color as well so these are the first two whorl calyx and corolla calyx consists of sepals corolla consists of petals the next or the third whorl of a flower is androecium and it is the male reproductive part of the flower it constitute the third whorl of the flower it form the male reproductive part of the flower it consists of male reproductive units which are called stamen so what are the male reproductive units called over here in androecium they are called stamen stamen is divided into two parts which are anther and filament the two parts of the stamen are anther and filament so let us understand both of them what is a filament it is a long thin hair like structure which bears yellow sac like or lobed structure on its free end now if if you see in the structure of stamen you can easily see the filament over there it is a thread like structure filament is a thread like structure which is having anther on the top what is this what is the function of this anther this anther produces a yellow color powdery substance which is called pollen grain the next part is anther it is a small sac like bilobe structure bilobe means two divided into two parts bone at the tip of filament and it grows on the tip of what filament each anther consists of many fine powdery substance called the pollen grain and these pollen grain play a vital role in plant reproduction as they contain male reproductive cells now if you touch the center part of a rose flower i'm giving you one example if you touch the center part of the rose flower when you will put your finger in the center and you will notice on your finger there will be a yellow color powdery substance on your finger after touching the center part of the flower what is that yellow color powdery substance that is the pollen grain that powdery substance is called pollen grain and this pollen grain is male reproductive cell which mainly help in the process of pollination that we will study further in the chapter and who produces pollen grain anther produces pollen grain where is anther present on the hair like structure called filament and both filament and anther are known as stamen and they are the main reproductive unit of androecium the last whorl of the flower is gynoecium this is the fourth whorl of the flower it consists of female reproductive parts of the flower known as pistil 
the pistil consists of one or more reproductive units called carpels each carpel consists of three important units called stigma style and ovary so gynoecium is female reproductive part of the flower which contains pistil and pistil is having female reproductive units known as carpel and the three parts of carpel are stigma style and ovary as you can see in the picture also stigma on the tip of carpel there is a small disc like structure called stigma you can see in the picture this is the top portion of the carpel and stigma is present there stigma it is sticky in nature and this stigma helps in pollination it attaches the pollen grain on itself it is the place where pollen grain attach for pollination because it is sticky in nature style is the next part style you can see the long tube like structure it is a long tube like extension of stigma and is also the center part of the carpel third is ovary you can see ovary labeled over there it is the swollen part of the carpel at the base and ovary you can see it is a round swollen kind of a structure the ovary consists of one or more ovule in it what is ovary having inside it ovule it is also labeled over there what are ovules they are small egg like structure which are the female reproductive part So, all right so these are the three parts of the carpel stigma style and ovary and these three combine to form gynoecium which is the fourth and the last one of the flower that is the female part of the flower now here you can see the pictures more clearly you can see anther having pollen grain filaments in an actual flower and both anther and filament are together called as stamen which are the male reproductive part of a flower in this also you can see the anther and the filament clearly and in the last picture you can see stigma in a real flower you can see stigma style anther filament petal pistil calyx ovary stem everything you can see in this flower very clearly and this is a picture of a complete real flower in which you can see different labelings very clearly and you can understand them very well so thank you students that's all for today this chapter will be continued have a good day